Ye, 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 ye. Three one Liverpool through to the next round. Listen, Liverpool and Champions League nights is not just a coincidence, bruv. This shit happens. Uh, don't get me wrong, yeah. Liverpool's actual gameplay in that in that the whole fucking ninety minutes here was stressful. Watching That's that. pig shit. Pig shit. The passing, <laughs> yeah. Pig shit. But, but well, we should get should we get shit done in it? We get shit done out here. DVD in that. We, listen, the bandar. The problem is, yeah, half of me is like, listen, chill, in it, because obviously you're raising you're raising your profile differently. At the <laughs> He's raising awareness, bro. Even Sadio Mane differently raising that profile. Sadio Mane's goal. Jesus, it's lord. Please, bro. That was a moment of incredible. Mad, mad, it was madness, bro. Mad if any, I think any even neutral fan will watch that and think, "Oh my good lord!" The whole, the whole stadium went quiet when that touch. He pinged it out of the air, looking over his shoulder, brought it down, and then he just sold the whole stadium. That's what I, said. I think Rio said it because he actually sold the whole stadium <laughs> with that touch. Because even they were like, "Nah, this what the fuck are you gonna do?" Oh shit! And then he had the audacity to chip it, bro, for the finish. Madness. But that was just a moment of class. And sometimes a game needs that. You know, like, I didn't think Liverpool, like, was, the Liverpool weren't free-flowing. The passing was a shambles. There was no control in the middle of the, in the, middle of the, the park for Liverpool at all. And then just a straight, you know, long ball over the top of VVD's, like, the whole communication between the two was nuts. Uh, you know, Sané pointed it out, uh, Mane pointed it out, and boom, that ball was just pinged out to him. And that's where the goal came from. And we needed you know that. What? I, I, I going back to being... Neg- no, it's not negative. So, so don't start this pessimist no, 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 bullshit, No, 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 no. Listen, team selection, yeah. Yeah, the team selection... Now, I was worried. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> so that injury was a bit of a blessing in disguise because it meant Fabinho got into the game. Mm. How are we going into that game without Fabinho, by the way? He, by far, has been one of the best players for Liverpool in the last, what, five uh, uh, games? Yeah, but the thing... No, but the joke is, yeah, let's just look at the, the Belgrade, yeah? That midfield started, wasn't it? I think it nap- I think the same midfield started... Well, it definitely started against PSG mm. away. We got turned. We got turned around, ripped apart in that game, yeah? Because those three in the midfield, they couldn't... Anything with a bit of creativity, it was a problem. So that injury was a bit of a blessing in disguise. That was the only thing that I, I was a bit like, ah, dead. Like, you look at that, that midfield, especially when you know Fabinho's been... He's been at it. I know that we needed a goal, but I'm thinking, if you need a goal, you'll put Milner back into the team. Who hasn't... Trained all week, Trained apparently. for a hot minute. He hasn't played for a hot minute, and he's put in. And... The thing is, listen, yeah, like, I defend Milner to the hills when he, because of, of his age and all whatnot, yeah, and he's a squad player, squad player, yeah, but today, it was like, you know, like, you, you, you just watch your granddad getting old, and one of them ones, you're like, ah. He, but, he was, but, but, but the thing is, it was his cross, the corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's, 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 it swings around about. So but, you, come on, let's, uh, okay, yeah, that, that, that moment of the game was fine, but, you know, like, watching him throughout the whole game, there was moments like you, you saw him pick up the ball and he's like, he's like, Harry, he's like yeah, you know, there's moments of times you expect a midfielder to take the ball and just run and yeah. he obviously he doesn't It's that injection that. of pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, I watched that game today and I said, I said to him, I said, the one person on that pitch that I would love Liverpool to get, I'd love, obviously I don't, I mean, it will cost, it will be a numeric, astronomical figure, but Thiago, do you know, he picks up that ball and vroom, straight in, gets that ball, vroom, straight in, beats a man, vroom, straight into the front man. Imagine we had that. That injection over five yards, bring the ball, boom, just get, break the lines. Five yards, he's in. That's what we're missing. And I watched him today and I thought, he's in the opposite situation. He's in a team that at the moment, let's be honest, let's, let's be real, they're, 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 they're falling off. They're falling off now. They, they need a transition. Just like Real Madrid, they need a transition. Mm. They need some new fresh faces. Kingsley Kerman's a good player, but you're bringing on San- Renato Sanchez. The guy was getting bombed up. Sometimes we're like, we don't want, no, uh, Swansea, like, we don't want this guy. <laughs> Please take him back. And he's coming on, doing mad shit, bro. Like, let's look. This, this, going to Bayern Munich and getting a result and scoring three goals, well, four. We scored on four of them. Yeah, we gave yeah. him one as well. We gave him one for them. But that is no joke, going to Bayern Munich and scoring that many goals, yeah? Let's not take that away from Liverpool. The, but the 100%. game, yeah, you know I'm saying? Like, the, Liverpool, the, game, the game itself, the way Liverpool played, wasn't so great. And, that's, okay, the, the, with the team is still crying out for a midfielder to dictate the game. Mm. The, you know, there was times in there where, they, where you just wanted someone to just hold the ball and no pass was even getting linked up at all and like I'm saying this is what Liverpool need is that player then you're like Alonso coming and collecting from the yeah. defence and get it, give it, move it exactly. run into that space bring it back and the, the thing was right the, the Bayern Munich when they went 2-1 down they looked like a team that was they, were, they looked like they were 4-0 down they were wasted they were waving the white flag he was like you know what 
allow it. They were wasted. They couldn't, even, they, were, they, they couldn't even attempt to get back in that but game. But the bro. thing is, if they, if they, the, on the flip side, if they just thought, you know what, let's just go out for five minutes, Liverpool just kept giving them back the ball, kept giving it away, kept giving it away. And that is where you look at and you think, you just need someone there. It's DBG. Just to, just to pull, pull, you know, pull people through. Say, right, fucking get with it. Five minutes, raise your, raise your standards again. And, you know, hopefully, there was times where they were trying to score goals. And so I, I love the fact that they want to score goals. You can't take that away from them. That's in their nature. But sometimes you've got to manage a game of football. Mm. You've got to manage a game of football. And especially when you're away from home in a Champions League, on the cusp of qualifying, manage the game better. Right, that's the only thing I would say. Yeah. The passing was dreadful. Trent gave the ball away numerous times today. He did. On a number yeah, of occasions. Have, he didn't have a great game, to be fair. He didn't have a great game. But and listen, let's, let's, let's go into the positives, right? Because... It is a great result. We're into the last eight. And some of the teams in that last eight, jeez, I can't wait for the draw on Friday. Yeah, it's going to be mud. And like, I, me personally, I don't care who we get. I'll say bring Barca, I'll bring, bring Juve. Because for me, like you might think differently, but Champions League was an added bonus for me to focus on the league. So if we do do well, and like I said, we've been saying that if we do well in this competition, like now, imagine going home from Germany, you'll be fully gassed going back to, 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 to Liverpool and going into that game on the weekend. Hopefully we win that. But what I'm saying is the momentum, the rhythm, that's just going to lift the whole and the, club. And the thing is, it's, it's playing games, you discover things, you learn things about yourself all the time. Mm -hmm. you might, you, even if it's, you've done something years ago and you've forgotten about it and you, you, re, you do it again, you're like, oh, you know what, that, I have done that before, I know what I'm doing. Salah today, that, that cross, that cross today was the audacity of the man to do that. <laughs> outside foot, no. especially when he's been doing like you know stuff that hasn't been on point. But the audacity to do that, that is a game changer, mm -hmm. right? Mane to do what he did in the first half, game changer. Those things you get that from playing football against the best. You're playing against some of the best players in the world. Uh, Neuer, arguably one of the best goalkeepers for the past ten years, he's been up there anyway. Um, Hummels is no joke. It's not a joke, right? So this is what I'm saying. We said it before, playing football, playing football, and you're, you're constantly, you're, it's like an oiling old machine. Mm -hmm. You're just ticking over, you're ticking over. This is a time when those players are going to start thinking to themselves, do you know what, I've got an experience to draw upon. Do you remember that time when Salah put that ball in against Bayern Munich? There's always something there. Defenders will be thinking twice about it now. So playing football and, and success breeds confidence. Now that's where, that's where we will be. Bayern Munich, on the other hand, have just been tucked in at home. Dortmund are rubbing their hands right, right now. Bayern Munich haven't scored a goal. Obviously, there's an own goal, but in open play against Liverpool for two games, Liverpool scored an own goal. That's the facts. If you put it like that, so you, you touched on Salah. What do you reckon of his, his gameplay? I think a lot of people saw it. Yeah, it wasn't just us. Yeah, Salah's decision making again. Apart from that world he crosses at the end, you know what that's I'm saying? the thing. This is the thing. And like you said, he's always causing havoc. We said this like even for the last few games. All right, Salah hasn't been firing in terms of goals, but he's been causing havoc for defenders all the time. Last season, we said it about Mane. We said, you know what, yeah, he's the guy that hasn't been getting the goals, yeah, but yet he's the one working his nuts off and doing the stuff that goes under, unnoticed. And this season, it looks as though it's the other way around. I actually said this, didn't I? I was like, Bobby's done it, Mo's done it, there's going to come Sadio's turn, and it's, it's his moment. But sometimes it's like, it's frustrating, because I just want him to slide the ball across. There's some, if he just looks up and looks over, there's a player just standing there in space. I'm like, just look, just fucking pass the ball. This guy's out of playing computer games, obviously. <laughs> no, like but triangle in it, just tap it before it even comes, but whoop, done. No, but do you know what I mean? The he's sweaty cool. goals in that on FIFA, man. But do you know what I'm saying? Like that, today, that, he should have that across. To, you know, he should have that across yeah. to Mane. But listen, I think that's fine. Yeah, and it's we, cool. it's still, it's still, at least he's doing his thing. That's the thing. We've said it so, so many times. Is this, is there, they're a front three, and I think that they're starting to realize. They've noticed over time as time goes on. Salah's know nothing without Bobby and Sadio and vice versa. They all know that. They mm -hmm. know that. You can tell they appreciate each other. They have to because they've all been times where they've been lean spells where they ain't done jack shit, but the other one's doing it. And then, well, he's doing it. So, as a defence, you're thinking, boy. Andy Robertson. Foolish guy. Like, Foolish. <laughs> like, your 91st minute, you know as a player going into that game that you can't afford to get a book in. There was no reason for him to go in there for that challenge. Now, There's actually, even shape-wise, he shouldn't have been in there. I, just, I don't understand what that. And, and then you, could, you can go back to Klopp. Could he have taken him off? You see managers normally... I don't know. The guy bopped his own head afterwards because he knew and he was like, ah. Yeah. But saying that, I mean, I don't know how many other players were on yellow cards. It was just, no, it was just him. just him. So for me, as a manager, you know you've got, to, you've got to sub up your sleeve. You know the time's ticking. Let's just kill this game. But I've come from. They actually did they though? Because they used Lalana, didn't they? They used Lalana towards the end. And Origi. Origi, Lalana. Yeah, and the one at the beginning. So but still, just, but yeah, even yeah. still, even before that then. 
Yeah, yeah. Before that, before just, that, just just say, listen, Maji, come through. You got yellow card. You don't even need to risk it. We need to take a sub. Whatever. Because going into because going to the next game now without him, we can play Moreno. <clears throat> but this is the thing. Do you know people might turn around and be like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. No, it ain't. Fine. It's not, bro. Because that Liverpool's goal today, when Mane scored the, the nut, nutty goal, yeah, Kimmich ain't letting that happen. Sorry, mm -hmm. he's not happening. That's and that's the difference. When you've got someone who's coming into a position, he's not your first choice. That's what happens. Kimmich. Is, a, is, is different. He, he was celebrating tackles and he's, he's up for it. Robertson, so uh, Robertson and Moreno, that's the difference that you're going to get. Is it Rafinha? Was it Rafinha? Rafinha, Rafinha, yeah. Rafinha Rafinha's no mug, but he's, he's no Kimmich. Struggling. But he's not a Kimmich. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Liverpool, if, I believe if Kimmich was playing, I don't think, I'm not necessarily saying he wouldn't have scored, but it wouldn't have been as easy as that. Mm. The way he moved, mate, you off the ball. Move, get out. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, that, that's going to be a big blow for Liverpool because, you, like you said, you're not going to put Moreno in there. Uh uh. And the other one, I want Milner. If you're a team, you're targeting him. Play on the left back. If that's the case, this was, no, no. Who else do you go though? Well, it's, the thing is, Klopp's stuck with Moreno. He's kept him in there. He's not gone out and bought another one. So he must have some form of confidence in the guy. I do not want to see that guy anywhere near that. But position, listen, bro. the other thing is, VVD, bruv. It's actually it actually scares me, bruv. Because if we don't win nothing this year, bruv, get out of here. Look. He'll be there for the next two, three years, I reckon. And, and I think that he will win something with Klopp. But then when he does, then maybe. But do you know what I mean? I don't see him going anywhere at the moment. Liverpool building something. And Liverpool are still... Obviously, once they sort that midfield position... Now, another thing is, well, you mentioned VVD. Um, Matip, right? People are always digging out Matip. Now, I've got a cousin. Always digging out Matip. The guy has been next to VVD for I don't know how long. And like you said, they haven't scored over two legs. He did. No, no, but do you know what I mean? Like he had to touch that, otherwise that's, that's what could be a tap in anyway. But, and, and to be fair, he made some big tackles. Big tackles towards the end, blocks and stuff. So he, get, he gets his foot in, bro. You've got to give him props. You've got to give him his respect. Trent, I thought, I thought he actually bailed out Trent a few times. Didn't mm, he? Mm. Covered him up nicely, and so did Fabinho. Yeah. So the last so, challenge. So and, and the goal, their goal. People, I heard some people mention that I think VVD could have done more. Was that the other? I think Robertson. Rio said it as well. Yeah, I was like, what? I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not, I, I don't agree with that personally. I look, I look at that and I think, as a defender, Robertson's got to put his hands up. Listen, sometimes you've got to just give it... The, it's a good run. Yeah. It's a good ball and it's a good and run. timing-wise, it's perfect. You, he's time, you say that to your forwards, don't you? Just keep getting at your fullback. That's the run. That's that run you talk about and he's nailed it. So, sometimes you've just got to put your hands up and say, you know what, it's a good bit of forward play. It's difficult to, to say, oh, Robertson should do better. I mean, he could do better, but sometimes you've just got to turn around and be like, got done by a bit of good forward play there, I mm. think. Uh, man of the match? Sadie Mane. Sadie Mane. That's it. Because, first of all, the, like we said, it didn't flow that well, but his brilliance, his first goal was mad. And, and I've said this just and, so many times. Yeah. His work rate. Relentless. He's relentless. relentless. Every week, even though he does stupid shit and it's Liverpool fans, he's easy. He's probably the easiest one to have a go at because you look at it and stuff and everyone's like, ah, oh, it's out of this. But he don't stop. He's, con he's just continuous, continuous, continuous. And that's why he's got, you've got to give him his plaudits. He's frustra he has been frustrating over the last two, three seasons, but he's still been chipping in. He's been getting better. And that is one thing that you love to say, as long as you're getting better, making mistakes but improving, then, then that's what, it's learning then, isn't it? Then it's not just making mistakes. You learn, it's only a mistake if you don't learn from it. And he's, con he's obviously learning from it and scoring the goals and stepping up at the biggest, biggest moments. So on to Sunday, where we go back top of the league, beating Fulham. Hopefully this momentum goes into that game and we can do the thing. Um, and who do, who do you, the viewers, want to see Liverpool get next? Like, is there, you like picking favourites? Do you want like Ajax? Do you want Porto? I mean, there's some big fixtures in there. I'd love to see the Manchester teams go at it. That would be sick over two legs. So that I'll be put it to you then. So, if I had to say a team, who do you want in the next round? Who would you want? Who would you pick? I want the best teams. I, both. I want the best teams. So, Juventus, Barcelona, I want something really exciting and I want to see VVD go up against the best. That's it. Like I said, for me, Champions League is added bonus to the Premier League if we can get it. That's, that's, the, way, that's the way I'm looking at it this year. Last year was different. That's going to be Porto, isn't it? What about Ajax? Well, I say beat, bro. Ajax, like they're, they're, all, they're doing bits and bobs, bro. Yeah. Li no, listen, if I had to pick one, I'd say, yeah, I'd take Porto. But at this stage of the competition and in this competition, we've said it for, listen, we're enjoying the ride. Enjoy the ride. It's a Champions League. The best play the best. That's it. If you, Liverpool believe that they're title contenders, they need to be taking out the best. Go and beat the, the best out there. They're just beating the champions of Germany. So, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I actually enjoy it. I love seeing Ronaldo at Anfield. I'd love to see Ronaldo at Anfield. Messi at Anfield. Mad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, until then, don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment. Peace.